So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with a very, very special The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now you're gonna already have seen the title and the thumbnail so we're just gonna get right into it. I have spent the last few days really cracking down on my fallow deer grind again in search of my fifth and sixth great one fallow deer to complete the second huddle mount. And I have had a few interesting things pop up whilst I have been doing that grind. Starting off with this, a level 5 piebald fallow. Now, I was really, really excited when I spotted this guy and then I saw the rack. And I know that this rack very, very, very rarely makes diamond. It's 99.9% .9 of the time it's a troll. And I was kind of disappointed to see that because I really love this piebald pattern. And I was so hoping that somehow this would be one of the ones that made it. He had an estimate to where he could make it, but I really doubted it. He didn't look big enough to me, unfortunately. But still, a really huge and gorgeous piebald. Absolutely stunning. But picking him up, he is unfortunately a troll. 241.36, which when you take a look at his weight of 95.31 kg, I know that there was a chance that he could have actually spawned as a diamond with a diamond rack because I've had plenty of small to medium sized diamonds that have been that weight. And so it was kind of extra painful looking at that and just knowing that instead of spawning as an actual diamond, he spawned as a troll. But, you know, he is still really, really beautiful. I love this piebald pattern. It is my favourite of the piebalds for the fallow. I just think it looks so, so stunning. But, yeah, it's just unfortunate that he didn't make it. And super trolls are always a hard thing to end up getting. I kind of expected it, so that made it a little less painful. But it's, you know, it's just unfortunate. You you hold out hope, when, you, especially when you see an estimate that has the chance of making it. And if it just doesn't, it's, it's always a little bit unfortunate. So it was unfortunate to end up with yet another super troll for my tally of super trolls. But still a gorgeous bug. Then moving on to this bug. And this is actually a level 4. But it had a really, really good estimate. Now, I shot into the ground there with the 308 just to get these guys to go alert as I didn't have the 22. And his rack looked bigger to me. And you can see it went up to 254. So I recorded this just in case this guy somehow would end up being a level 4 diamond. And for me... Every time that I have had a level 4 that would have made diamond, I've ended up shooting it with like the 300 almost every time because I never think they're big enough. But this guy ends up being slightly bigger than even that level 5 troll in the previous clip at 242.05 and he's a little bit lighter on the weight as well. So it's really interesting that the, this level 4 is actually slightly bigger than that level 5 troll which is just unfortunate. You know, I kind of have to think of that first level 5 troll that we just had of the same piebald pattern. I kind of have to think of that as just a big level 4 really after seeing that. And then last night, the very first lake I check on my run is this Twin Lakes. It's my favourite spot on the entire map and I spot a huge pure white fallow on the other side of this lake. And I knew it was an albino and I was crossing my fingers that I, when I spotted it, it would be a five. And unfortunately, it was a five with the troll rack. Yet again, this rack that seems to just troll most of the time. Like I said, I have had a couple of very very rare diamonds with this particular rack as either small level fives or big level fours but yes again unfortunately we are looking at another super troll this is my second ever troll albino fallow this one's much bigger than the old one that i had from a couple of years ago but my second ever level five albino fallow that just didn't come close to making diamond and again looking at the weight I swear, you know, if this guy had just spawned with a different rack, he could have ended up making it. But it's just unfortunate because I really would have loved an albino diamond. I think it would have been so, so cool. And it was just really unfortunate, you know, to start last night with a guaranteed troll rare. Like, that's just... 
it didn't feel like a good omen to start the night with. I mean, it's a beautiful, huge rare. That's not, you know, take that for granted. He is absolutely gorgeous. He's the biggest albino I've got. So I'm really, really happy about that. But when you see the max level pop up, you're always hoping that it's going to make diamond. And it's always a bit of a, a bit of a kick when they don't end up making it. And like I said, this guy was a guaranteed troll. He's absolutely stunning, but just unfortunately wasn't quite big enough. Little did I know that the rest of last night was going to take a turn, a very big turn, because a few hours later, way into the middle of the night, I ended up spotting something, something that I knew would actually be a diamond. That is a level 5 piebald fallow with a diamond rack. That rack always makes diamond, and I was just in shock. At Twin Lakes, again, it's the same pattern as my first super rare. And it's at the same lake as my first super rare. This lake is my favourite lake. It is just absolutely insane. It's normally got at least one level 5 at it, if not a couple. And it's just the most insane spot. It's where my last great one spawned and I've had an, uh, one of my other great ones spawned here as well. It's just such a good spot. Like, every time, this spot is so, so good. And... You know, I, I always check this spot first. It's my favourite spot to check. And like I said, this is where we just had that albino troll. And then this guy pops up. It was several days in between the first couple of piebolds and then the albino. But then between the albino and this, it was literally a few hours. Which is just crazy. And like I said, starting off my night of hunting fallow with a super troll... I just, like I said, I just felt like such a bad omen. And the day before, my spawns had been really, really weird. Like, I've been consistently getting level 5s. Like, really consistently getting quite a lot of level 5s. And quite a few max weights as well. And then my spawns just seemed to go really, like, really weird and really low. Like, everything seemed to be respawning as, like, 2s or small 3s. I even had my first ever level 1 on this grind spawn. The only other level 1 fallow I had seen was in early access, but I actually ended up having a level 1 spawn actually here at this Twin Lakes. And I just thought, man, is there something big on my map that's causing all my spawns to go really small or something? And couldn't find anything despite searching everywhere. And so I was like, okay, maybe my fallow luck has just run out. Maybe it's time. Maybe, you know, it's all just, it's finally run out. And then last night, like I said, we started off with a super troll and then I got quite a few more diamonds and I was like, okay, things are picking up again. And then this happened, which is just insane. Now, like I said, I have been leaving the really, really small ones, like the, the level one I didn't shoot and the level two, like really small twos and stuff I haven't been shooting. But other than that, I've just been shooting as many followers as possible and trying to kill as many of these guys as possible and spending a lot of time doing that. And it's really ended up paying off. Like, my fallow luck has been absolutely insane. Touch wood, out of every single grind I have ever done for any species, fallow has been the absolute best. And it's just amazing. And, like, I don't know what to do about having this great luck. I'm just kind of sat here going, okay, this is happening. But it's so exciting to me. And this was just amazing. Now, you're going to see this guy spook off here. And unfortunately... Despite my best efforts of trying to actually find this guy's zones, he had had the exact same problem as the first super rare fallow that actually spawned at this lake. I would try and backtrack into his zones and his tracks would start off normal and then go into a straight line and then just stop. And I don't know why, but it seems to be a thing sometimes with deer at this particular lake that they'll just like their tracks will go to the border or near the border and then just stop. And they sometimes just don't seem to have zones. It's really, really bizarre. So unfortunately, I didn't get to get the footage of this guy that I would have liked, you know, in his feed zone and his rest zone and stuff. But I did get that footage of him there in his drink zone. And, you know, with the mist and everything, it just looked so, so beautiful. But I really am sorry that I couldn't get as much footage of this guy as I really would have liked to. It was really unfortunate. I was so excited about this. And I honestly, I really wanted to drop him because I love this particular rack for the Diamond Fallow. I really, really like it. The guard times on the back are really, really impressive. And I just love the way that they hook like that. I think they look fantastic. 
And I was hoping that maybe, you know, with these thousands of kills that I'm doing, that maybe if another super rare spawned, it would have this rack. And it did, which is so incredibly fortunate because yeah just look at the way that those tines hook at the back they look so fantastic that is such an impressive fallow like if i saw that in real life i would be in awe just so gorgeous i mean what a fantastic looking animal he is just incredible so so beautiful just wow that's all i could think as i was looking at him was just wow but i did i, I wanted to get this guy on the ground because I knew he should make diamond with that rack. Like I said, this rack always makes diamond. And I was so desperate to get him on the ground and actually get him in my trophy lodge. I was really excited to actually manage to get this guy down. And like I said, unfortunately, when I tried tracking him to his zones, it just started doing exactly the same thing as the previous level 5 piebald at this same lake. So I knew that there wasn't going to be much hope for that. So that was really, really unfortunate. But getting to see him up close like this was so cool. And I decided that I was going to take him with the 303 British, which is the same rifle that I took my first super rare fallow with. And I decided that I wanted to take it with that same rifle because this does feel like deja vu. And that's why the title is Deja Vu, because it's the same piebald pattern. Both are going to be diamonds. Like, I knew this was going to be a diamond. And at the same lake. And it just felt like deja vu. And the same with having a troll albino. That felt like deja vu because that happened a couple of years ago. So, yeah, deja vu. And it was actually Flinter made that pun. I have to give him the credit. We were talking about it and I said it feels like deja vu. And he said deja vu. And I thought it was really funny. But, yeah, just nuts. So I figured seeing as it was all so very similar... It made sense to take this guy with the same rifle. And of course, I am British. So taking a very special animal with the 303 British, it just feels so fitting. And he dropped on the spot. This was always the moment that makes me feel almost sick with nerves, is the moment of the shot. Just, this is the right gun, right? This is the right caliber. I'm not going to mess it up. I'm not going to make a spine shot. All of these things that go through my head. And something that I got to actually see on this guy, and I don't know why I didn't notice it on the, the first Super Rare, was actually the delicate different colours and the way that the pattern actually is in this particular pattern. Like, it is really gorgeous. Like, look at these little delicate little spots that actually make up this white patch. It is beautiful. And like the dark patch here on the back, and then there's a darker patch on the side too. I don't know if it's just because this is much better lighting, but I'd never noticed that before. And picking him up and immediately hitting tax, he is a diamond, and I thought that he might score at the very top of his estimate, and he did. 259.92. Just wow. What can I say? What can I actually say about this? Like, I have spent so long in this game trying to get Super S. And all I ended up with were trolls. I had a troll albino fallow, I had a troll piebald reindeer, I had a troll albino moose. And then finally, we got the diamond piebald fallow a couple of weeks ago, which was just incredible to finally have a super rare. And I still haven't gotten over it that I, you know, actually finally have a super rare. The, the joke has always been that I'm not allowed super rares because every time I find something that could potentially make it, it has ended up trolling. And then, you know, we got that diamond piebald and I said, maybe this is my curse breaker animal. Maybe finally I'll get to get super rares, which after about five that well, well over 5,000 hours in game between Xbox and PC, you know, I've always wanted to get super rares. Like it's something that I have just always strived for because I love finding rares and obviously getting a super rare is like the pinnacle of getting rares. So I've always, 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 always hoped to get super rares and just it never happened. And then finally we got that piebald diamond fallow. And I, like I said, I, I hoped it would be my curse breaker. And then after that, I got a troll piebald and a troll albino. And I was like, okay, back to getting super trolls, I guess. I guess maybe that wasn't my curse breaker. And then this guy shows up. <laughs> So I guess I'm allowed to get super rares now, which I am more than happy about, if I'm honest. I'm almost getting emotional talking about it, which, I, again, I know it probably seems a little silly because, you know, it's a game. But when you put so much time and so much work into a game like this, like it's literally every single day I play this game 
and I hope to to get trophies and to be able to share these moments and I work really hard with this game that is the one thing I'll say I try my absolute best whether it's grinding whether it's just hunting in multiplayer whether it's just hunting in single player and just hunting around I try so very hard to get some cool trophies and it's always something that I really really strive for and moments like this for me are why I do it like the excitement of that's a level five and it's a piebald oh my god uh so you know i wish that i could do live reactions and hopefully one day i'll have a better setup to the point where i can do live reactions because i know that they're funny like just from the you know when i've been in call with people and then they hear my reactions i know that my reactions are funny because of the amount of panic that goes behind when i spot something like this and it just never gets old for me and this is what keeps me coming back to this game and it's so incredibly special and i'm so grateful that i get to share it with you all but now going back to the trophy lodge and making what might be my favorite multi mount in the lodge it's definitely up there this is my ultimate lodge and again you'll see that there's a lot of space still open in this lodge and that is because i'm still putting this together as my ultimate lodge with all my great ones my favorite rares all those kind of things and now we have a multi mount with two super rare fallow which is just nuts like how <sighs> I can't get over saying that. Two super rare fallow. What the heck? <laughs> That's just nuts. Absolutely nuts. And then we have the the big uh, piebald level four because it was actually slightly bigger than the troll. That's the one we have in the back with the different pattern. Now, it'd be absolutely nuts if somehow before I end up getting the sixth great one fallow, which is when I'm probably going to stop grinding fallow, if we could get like a third super rare to make this a super rare huddle. But either way, this mount looks so insane. It's absolutely just bonkers. Like, to me, I can't explain how insane this feels. Like like I said, the joke was always Mel doesn't get super rares. Mel isn't allowed super rares. Because it was always trolls. Just trolls, trolls, trolls. And it's, 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 I don't know what I did. I don't know why. I don't know what luck I've consumed for this to be happening. But... I will certainly take it and I'm just going to keep sitting here and enjoying this incredible streak of luck and just enjoying the ride and enjoying grinding fallow because it seems like fallow are my species. <laughs> it seems like they are the ones that seem to really like me. I mean, especially in comparison to moose, if you looked at that grind and how painful that was, fallow have been so much kinder. It's yeah, it's been insane and I cannot wait to share this video and as I have kind of told you guys by now, because you hopefully have seen the community post, this is kind of a two-part video, and the second part will be out tomorrow, because last night kept getting more insane after this, and a great one spawned in the same zone where this piebald diamond spawned. Literally, a few runs later, I ended up getting my fifth great one, Fallow. And I haven't actually shot him yet because I spent all night last night with a awful headache. And the excitement and everything kind of made the headache worse. My head was kind of pounding a little bit. But I was determined to keep going, determined to keep grinding. And literally on the last run this morning before I went to bed, I came and I checked Twin Lakes one more time. And in the same, same zone... Same zone that has produced a couple, two great ones and a super rare. There is another great one. <laughs> this is my lucky zone, obviously. Twin Lakes is my favourite spot. It's magic, apparently. It has all of the good powers at this particular lake. It just spawns the good things. And that particular zone seems to have something going on with it because it likes to spawn really, really cool animals. But that's going to be tomorrow's video. I'm going to... Get back on now after I have uploaded this video. I'm going to go and follow the great one, Fallow number five, around. And he is absolutely incredible looking. I'm really, really excited and I can't wait to share him with you all. But I, I literally physically, I couldn't record any more last night. So he's there, he's waiting, and I cannot wait to try and get some really cool pictures of him and some footage of him. And hopefully he will be more cooperative with his zones, which I'm really, really hoping. But yeah, I'm really excited to actually go and do that now as well. So yeah, I'm just, I'm buzzing. <laughs> I'm absolutely buzzing. And I hope, I hope that comes through because this all means so much to me. And yeah. 
I don't know why it keeps happening, but I will certainly take it. But that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support. As always, you guys have just been incredible recently. You're, you're just always so fantastic. All the love, all the support. It is very humbling. I say that all the time. It really is. And I appreciate it so, so, so much. So thank you all. And yeah, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.